everybody, Lael here with DPV Music Lessons. Today's video is about the multiple bounce roll, or otherwise known as the buzz roll, more commonly known as the buzz roll. Um, for those of you that take lessons with DPV, you know that I use the Essential Elements Interactive book by Hal Leonard, and it's an incredible book. It has some awesome play-alongs and really is interactive and fun for um, uh, everyone to use. The page 7A is where they start talking about the multiple bounce roll, and um, I think this is a really great method to developing that good buzz roll, but I don't believe uh, that this is a good place to start for open stroke rolls. And I do have another video on developing the diddle and developing that diddle into a good open stroke roll. Now, uh, on page 7A here of Essential Elements Interactive, you'll see the multiple bounce roll there. And the Z that you see written across the note head, the post there, is indicating that that is to be a buzzed stroke. And you will see buzz rolls written that way. Um, that's not to say that you won't see buzz rolls uh, written with just um, like the three hash marks that you would see uh, for a open stroke roll as well. Um, the uh, player if you're playing in a orchestra or symphonic band, concert band, things of the like, the player then needs to know the um, correct thing to play in that segment or that musical passage. Um, but you will see Z when the writer, uh, the person writing music, wants to hear specifically wants to hear a buzz roll, you'll see that Z written there. Now, don't worry how many uh, strokes you actually get to the buzz roll when you're first practicing it. This has seven strokes on the right and seven strokes on the left written there. It's not something that you can count, trust me. So to start, just to practice yourself getting that buzz roll, uh, and again, this is all my students use Vic Firth drumsticks. And I always instruct the, them to pinch or put the thumb print on the American flag there. And the first finger pinches right across from it at the very first knuckle there. And so that's our fulcrum point. That's where we pinch the stick or hold the stick. I shouldn't say pinch because we don't want to be white knuckling it or getting any kind of red fingers like that. That's too tight. So uh, just giving it a gentle pinch right there. You just kind of release the stick to get multiple bounces. And by release, I mean I'm just kind of dropping the stick and removing these three fingers to get a good bounce buzz. Here we go. And you can hear multiple strokes bouncing. And you can see it too. So that's the first step, just getting that good multiple bounce happening with each stick. Through the Essential Elements book, they then have several exercises that you can play to, um, and play alongs to develop this good sounding buzz roll. And the target is to get to something that sounds like this. And the methods that the book uses are awesome because you're playing along to different musical pieces at different tempos. 
which then just develop that speed and that dexterity that you need to get that good multiple bounce roll. Now, how can you practice this on your own without Essential Elements Interactive? Easy. Just pick a tempo and do those strokes as quarter notes. So if you have a tempo that's here, quarter notes. Increase the speed. Notice I'm getting full length of that quarter note as much as I can to get all those bounces in for the full duration of the note. Increase it faster. Closer, increase it faster. Increase it faster. Increase the quarter note faster. we're starting to get that good solid ocean wave sound that good solid buzz a little faster and there you have it you've developed a very good buzz roll now get after it